Hello, and welcome to video run as account deployments, something that can be a little difficult to grasp in Operations Manager. This video is Understanding Run as Account Distribution. In this video, we're going to take a look at run as account distribution concepts, how we can target management using our run as accounts, targeting specific objects and things of that nature, and also how do we distribute the accounts. There is a less secure versus a more secure option. We'll discuss the differences between those two. In Operations Manager, we use run as accounts to manage objects where the default action account may not have the necessary permissions. Some examples and we'll look at today include SQL. You can also use this for Active Directory monitoring and perhaps specific servers that might fall under regulatory compliance, where accounts that are allowed access to the servers have to be very specific. In the case of our distribution scenario, we're going to take a look at a SQL Server instance. On this specific SQL Server, there are two instances, and each one has a different account configured with the necessary rights. Now in video three of this series, we will go ahead and look at a way to monitor SQL, but in this case, we're just looking at the scenario of two instances on one SQL Server, each with a different run as account requirement. The additional requirement in this scenario is that not only do we monitor just those two instances with different accounts, but this only happens on the one specific server. So there's one account created in Active Directory that has rights on instance one on SQL Server, one account in Active Directory that only has permissions on instance two in SQL Server. So we don't want to distribute these to all SQL servers in the environment, but just this particular one. Before we show the distribution of a run as account, we need to understand the concepts of less secure, versus more secure in Operations Manager. A less secure distribution basically sends the account to everything. So if you have 300 servers in the environment and you create a specific account for monitoring a specific instance of SQL, that account will be sent to all servers. And unfortunately, a local admin could compromise the credentials. This is generally not desired. The better way is the more secure way which requires you to specify the computers where the account will be distributed. There's a couple things that happens when this occurs. First off, Operations Manager will run a test to see if the account can log on locally. So before distribution, either using a group policy object or the local security policy, you will want the account to be allowed to log on locally. And this will prevent future alerts coming up because the account can't do that. Secondly, you want to harden the system. There is a reason why you're having to configure a non-standard run as account. So if that reason is there, you'll want to make sure that the system's hardened so the credentials can't be compromised. Now let's take a look at our System Center Operations Manager console. When we're under the administration pane, looking at our run as configuration, and what we've done here is we've created this SQL instance account. Now creating the account's very straightforward. We've just created it with some Windows credentials against our domain, but now we need to handle the distribution. And this is where we have our less secure option and our more secure option. And in the more secure option, which is the preferred, we'll just go ahead and choose a computer name. So in this case, I can see I have a few SQL servers that I'm monitoring in here. Let's say I've configured this for my data protection manager instance. I'll go ahead and add that and hit OK. And now what we'll see is that this account has been selected for this instance. We hit OK and the account will be distributed to that server and that server only. Now that we've gone ahead, created our run as account and distributed it to the proper computers, we can modify our run as profile. So let's say for instance, we're gonna modify the SQL monitoring run as profile in Operations Manager. When we go into there, we will see an option for run as accounts. And when we add our run as account to this option, we can select our run as account from the dropdown and then have the option to run this account be used to manage the following objects, all targeted objects or a selected class group or object. Here's the difference between the two. All targeted objects basically says whatever uses this particular run as profile, apply this account to it. So in this case, the account would need to be on everything. So let's go back to our SQL monitoring example. If our DBAs have configured the proper permissions for the one account to run on every instance out there, this would be a viable option. 
However, if we've had requirements where we've had to say, okay, for specific instances, use specific accounts, then we'll want to choose the second option, which is a selected class, group, or object. And in that case, we'll need to go ahead and make sure that we select the instances or the databases that that account is configured on. And this is where it gets very, very granular. So we can say, run it against these instances or these databases, and if we distributed it properly, that's the only place that those will be used. In summary, what we learned in this video is that run as accounts may be necessary in certain monitoring scenarios. And while you'll need to know what it is that you need to monitor and where that object exists in order to properly deploy a run as account. In our examples, we used SQL instances. So we would need to know what the instance name is and what server that exists on to properly distribute that run as account. The process for creating, configuring, and deploying run as accounts can be a very challenging subject to many SCOM admins. However, once you understand it, you see that it's not that difficult to comprehend.